Are you ever just scrolling through Instagram, minding your own business, and then BAM! Your eyes are assaulted by one of those obscene five-minute craft videos, where they give you these hacks on how to take better Instagram photos. Well, today I'm putting these viral Instagram hacks to the test to see if they can really take my IG to a whole new level. What's up guys? It's your girl NT here and that stands for Natalia, Natalia Taylor. Taylor. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, what are you doing? Where have you been? I'm just kidding. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell icon if you'd like to get that notification every single time I post. I upload a new video every Monday and occasionally on Fridays if I feel like it. Shout out to all the British people out there that are going to criticize me for my accent. And shout out to everyone that's actually subscribe to the channel because we still have a percentage like 40 or 50 percent of people watching my videos that aren't actually subscribed but you still watch it anyways hit the button it's free it helps me out a lot i will try my best to make content that pleases you and congratulations to this week's instagram teacup shout out at i'm a screaming ravioli thank you for following me and being active on my instagram i love that username girl but today we are back to test these viral instagram photo hacks to see if if they're fake, if they're real, we all really want to know. And if you thought they were only on YouTube, girl. Five Minute Crafts also has an Instagram where they upload basically the same content that's in their YouTube videos. And honestly, if you're looking for a good time, read the comments on these Five Minute Craft Instagram posts. I swear I've never laughed so hard in my life. Five Minute Crafts, the idiots or geniuses that they are, have to be doing something right because they have millions of followers and I see their content everywhere. But now I'm gonna test five viral photo hacks to see if they really work. So let's go. Hack number one is really interesting. It looks like the person takes what appears to be a noodle strainer and they use it to create shadows on their face, similar to what we did in the last video with the sleeve. Now we've just moved on to kitchenware. It's supposed to create this exotic looking shadow on your face and no one's ever supposed to know that it's a noodle strainer. So let's test it out. So the first hack that they display, it's kind of similar to the one we did in the last video with the sleeve that's lace and it makes like these pretty reflections on your face. They basically take a colander, that's what this is, a colander? A strainer? I wouldn't call it a strainer, I don't know. A noodle strainer, <laughs> a bowl with holes, and they go out in direct sunlight and they put it up against their face and it creates these shadows. We're gonna take the strainer outside, see if we can create some unique Instagram noodle selfies. Do you think it's gonna work? I have no clue, honestly. I think possibly, yes, it could work. I just hope it doesn't look like I'm holding a strainer up outside, but we're gonna find out, let's go. So the hack says that if I put it, I think like that's where, is it, is it doing anything? Yes, it is. Is it? So I think this is probably a good angle right here. Wow. Does yeah. it look like little light is dancing that on is my face? That is sweet, yeah. It looks like a disco ball. It's doing something. I can feel it on my eyes. It's definitely making things happen. Yes. <laughs> is it attractive though? It looks cool. Am I a cool girl? You're a cool girl. Boop, 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 <laughs> boop, boop, It's doing it boop. on your face there too. Right now? Yeah. <laughs> Does that look better this way? It kind of looks cool. <gasps> okay, wow. Let's uh, see how they look. These hacks are not all garbage. Some of them are, but some of them turn out looking like this, an absolute glow up, okay? I really like the way the strainer made these reflections on my face or these shadows. I think it's a beautiful photo and I would definitely try this hack again for myself in the future. If you try this hack out for yourself, tag me on Instagram and maybe I will see it. Moving on to hack number two. Once again, we are using a prop to create an effect in our photo. The model uses a CD disc to create a rainbow reflection across her face. And it's supposed to just make your selfie look a little more interesting. I'm curious to see if this one really works, so let's give it a shot. They use like a disc and a flashlight and they use the rainbow reflection to create this really pretty filtered rainbow, a light leak, a light leak. You can actually just do this on Facetune, but why not make it more difficult? So uh, I have a flashlight and a DVD, as good as it gets. 
this hack is as good as it gets. <laughs> <laughs> Something's happening. Does it have to be a dark room? Uh, Wait, it's there, on it's face. on my face. It's on my face. Is it a rainbow? It's not a rainbow. Is this the first hack that doesn't work? I'm gonna find a CD and we're gonna try this again. I really wanna give this a good run, BRB. I now have a CD instead of a DVD. I always thought that they were the same. Is a CD more reflective? Honestly, I don't, I don't know. All right, let's see. Oh, this one looks more rainbowy, is it? It looks like a light on your face. I wonder if you can do it like in the sunlight would be better than like a, a flashlight. Right. Okay, okay, let's go so outside. Let's step outside. Let's see what's gonna, let's see what happens out here. Oh. Oh, it's blinding. Five minute crafts, this is dangerous. Oh, I feel like I'm being shot in the eyes with lasers. You know what, five minute crafts, this hack doesn't work. I'm just gonna take a picture and I'm gonna put the rainbow filter over it on my phone because that's easier than this. Wait, did that work? Don't tell me that it's working now. There's a rainbow on your face right now. Nuh uh. Yeah. So it does make a rainbow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give me Watch that! Hold on, this no. is a weapon! <laughs> Let's get the shot. This one didn't really work at all. It created a rainbow, sure, but I'm able to achieve that much easier on an editing software like Facetune, where it takes seconds to just place a rainbow on my face and it looks a million times better. I would say this hack, did it work? Yes. Was it inconvenient? Yes. Not sure I would ever try this one again, but maybe you can do it better. Give it a shot for yourself and tag me in your photos. Maybe I was just doing it wrong, but overall, a pretty cool concept. Now I'm not sure if you guys spend a lot of time on Instagram, like me, but there's something else going around that I've seen that's been elevating the game of not just taking photos, but elevating your face too. I'm not sure if any of you guys have seen the new Glamnetic eyelash system with like the magnetic eyeliner and the lashes stick to the eyeliner and it basically eliminates the entire need for lashes with glue altogether. This is something that I wasn't sure if it actually worked. I decided it would be really interesting for me to test out these glamnetic eyelashes to see if they really work and if they can make my photos look way more elevated than they usually are. So apparently these are like the easiest eyelashes you can apply. You know eyelashes, honey? Yeah, I know eyelashes. I have to like peel my eyelashes off and they're sticky. Glamnetic is a new brand that's been going pretty viral on Instagram. They use this eyeliner that's actually magnetic. What do you mean it's magnetic? <laughs> yeah, so you know how I normally use glue for my eyelashes? You don't need any glue for these. The eyeliner, like you put it on and it like the magnet sticks to it. I'm gonna do like a little test strip right here on my hand. And so you take the eyelash and once this is dry, it's supposed to stick to it. Oh, wait, wait, see that? It's actually sticking to it. I feel like this is like technology that I feel like we should have had sooner. So I'm gonna try it on my eyes. I feel like this is gonna be a lot easier when I wanna go swimming. I won't feel like I have to rip off my eyelashes for the rest of the night. Like I could put them back on, you know what I mean? I think that's ultimately the selling point for me is that I can like be indecisive and change my mind about my eyelashes. Like you can wear eyelashes for a picture and then take them off. Because eyelashes always make your photos look better, but I don't always wanna wear them the entire day until I go to bed. It's just the ultimate beauty product for the indecisive ones the world, such as I. Okay, now I have on my Glamnetic eyeliner. I think I wanna do these ones, these big fluffy ones. Oh yeah, do the big butterfly ones. So let me throw these puppies on. Wow. And this is my first time ever applying them too. That was so easy. These are way easier than gluing them on. These, it's almost like it wants to put itself on. Watch it how easy this is. That's the quickest I've ever put on an eyelash before. This will probably add years to my life now. I won't have to sit and wait for the glue to dry and I can just throw eyelashes on when I want to take a picture and pull them right back off again when I want to go outside or go on a hike. So what do you say we take a look and see the before and after shots? So 
So as I was testing out the magnetic eyeliner and lashes, I was a little surprised to notice that it actually stuck to the magnetic eyeliner just how it appeared in the Instagram posts. And what's really interesting is the eyelashes are like any other eyelash. You can trim them to size for your eye. They have five magnets on them. You can trim one off if you have to. And they're pretty luxurious feeling. They have 100% mink or vegan options depending on what you're into. And it comes in 17 different styles from natural to full blown glam, hence the name Glamnetic. But I don't know if you guys have ever been playing with your eyelashes with glue and it's just so frustrating, especially if you're a first timer or you're not a beauty guru. You can throw away the glue. You can reuse your magnetic eyelashes 40 times, saving you so much money on glue and just reusing eyelashes because they get sticky from the dry residue. It's disgusting. The fact that I'm able to forget all of that really elevates my beauty experience as just a nobody. I'm not Jeffree Star. I can't sit there for 20 minutes waiting for my lashes to dry. It's obscene. Everything is safe for your eyes, including the ingredients in the eyeliner, and it holds all day. Even the eyeliner, it's smudge proof. You can get over 70 uses of the eyeliner. It's not going to run out on you. It glides on really easily, and as you can see, there is a dramatic difference in the before and after when you have these lashes on, and it's really going to help you take your photos to the next level. I love this concept. I think Glamnetic is changing the eyelash game. I think this is the most innovative thing I've seen in the past five years. If you are interested, interested in trying out the Glamnetic kit for yourself with the eyeliner and the lashes, click the link at the top of my description and use my special code, Natalia, to get yourself 15% off of the entire Glamnetic site. Yes, girl. Thank you so much to Glamnetic for sponsoring this video, and thank you to everyone that supports the sponsors so we can continue to make cool videos on this channel. Moving on to our third fake photo hack. This one is about to get real embarrassing, you guys, okay? What appears to be a photo or a video of a woman flying an airplane, you know, living her best pilot life, is actually a step stool. And she steps down and stops pretending to be a pilot. Like, all of a sudden, just it's cool on Instagram to be a pilot. I'm not really sure if they're trying to pretend that they're flying the airplane or they're just riding in one. Either way, this concept is so weird and interesting interesting to me. I can't tell if I hate it or I want to try it for myself. Let's just do it. This next craft is probably one of the most ridiculous I've ever seen. And that's saying a lot for five minute crafts. We're going to pretend to fly a plane today. Why anyone would feel the need to lie about being a pilot to seem cool, I guess. I have no idea. But this was one of the hacks that was in the Instagram video that caught my attention because it's totally pointless. Like, aren't your friends gonna comment and be like, you're not a pilot. This one's just really got me going. So all you need is uh, a step stool, some headphones, and some sunglasses. We're gonna try it to see if I can successfully look like I have spontaneously learned how to fly a plane. Why do I do this? Does it look like I'm flying? Except for the tree. The right tree? Now. Wait, so it's working? Kind of. Okay, okay. Need you to go that way. This like, way? Go that Walk way. Walk this way. Yeah. Okay. Put this down a little ah! bit. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, there we go. Mm. Does it look like I'm flying? No. I stood on a chair and hopefully that will give us the angle we need. I think that that probably took care of the green situation, right? Uh, yeah, except for make sure you're looking forward. And I don't want to see, you don't want to see my hand holding the plane. Yeah. I believe I can fly. These hacks are getting worse and worse. At a quick glance, I think you could probably sell this one. Yeah, I could probably trick someone into thinking I suddenly got my pilot's license and I'm out there flying the skies. Like, it's almost concerning that this is even a hack. Who is this even for? I just have a really hard time believing that there's someone out there that takes this hack seriously and is lying to all of their followers about being a pilot. I don't know if it's just me, but seems a little out there. But let me know down in the comments, does this look like I'm flying an airplane for real or not, you can let me know and give it a try yourself if you have a step stool at home. This one 
one is uh, probably the most questionable out of all of the hacks I've ever tried or ever seen on the internet. With this one, what you see it appears to be a cute couple going in for a kiss, just a romantic aesthetic photo that you can share on your Instagram to your lovely followers. And they'll think, oh, when did they get a boyfriend? That's so cute. When in all reality, you didn't get a boyfriend and it's just your hands in someone else's shoes with pants on your arms. Have you ever seen something so obscure in your lifetime? So you know what Natalia does? Natalia tries it. Have you ever been just so lonely? You know, these quarantine times, desperate times call for really, really desperate measures. <laughs> I feel like this is right up my alley. So I wanna go over here. I'm gonna bend over right here so that you can get the pool in the background. So it looks like two lovers kissing and pool. You might need to pull the pants up. I don't know, they're pull looking, the a, little, looking a, little... a little baggy. He's a little short, isn't he? <laughs> The shadow is off, yeah. The shadow is ruining it? The shadow's off because I can see your hair. Yeah, there you go. Ah, does it look like we're kissing? Move your hair. Your hair's in the way. Why don't you put this your whole head me. in the pants? My whole head? Let me, let me see. Don't tell me what to do. Come here, let me put your head in the pants. No. Put your hair in the pants. No. Put it in there. Go all in. I don't want to go all the way Keep in. Keep going. Good. Stop. Okay. All right, I'm, take the picture. <laughs> Why do your pants smell like peanut butter? Smell like peanut butter? Yes! <sighs> Did you get the picture? shame to say that this worked. I mean, I'm not really sure who this hack is for, like all of the single people of the world, but even then, do people really judge single people that bad to where you're forced to put your hands in someone else's shoes and bend over? I don't really think this has any real life application, but it was entertaining nonetheless, and I would say hack number five was a success as well. So there you have it, guys, testing fake Instagram hacks to see if they really work. You should try these at home if you're bored in the house, in the house bored, to see if you can recreate any of them better than I did. And if you give them a try, tag me on Instagram so I can see them and you can make me laugh and make me feel a little less insecure about attempting these on my own. Thank you once again to everyone that is subscribed. I love you so much. I appreciate you. Like this video if you would like to see more photo shoot challenges. I will leave a playlist right here of all of them if you want to entertain yourself for hours. But how did I do? Comment down below and let me know and give me any suggestions on photo hacks you would like to see in the future. But I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. I thoroughly hope you enjoyed. I really do. I hope you enjoyed. But most of all, I. I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful day. God bless you guys. Bye. Mwah.